Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Dev and Nina V Show. My name is Dev. And I'm Nina. And this week's topic is very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to brush up on, you know, the, the feminine energy, the masculine energy briefly, and how we can um, use these characteristics to our benefits, right? Exactly. Um, I mean, we each have um, left and right hemispheres. I hope each of us are not walking with just half your brain, but right. they each have their functions. And I first wanted to dive into what each of them do. Okay, because a lot of us are familiar with the fact that um, you prefer this side of the brain or the other, or like some of you might be like, oh, I'm logical, I'm an analytical thinker. Well, what does that really mean? Right. Well, it's meaning that you're using your left side of the brain. Mm -hmm. That's more so the facts, the data, the math, okay? Mm -hmm. Cause and effect. Like I'm talking about like the actual, um, the science and the math of it. Exactly. The yeah. fine motor skills. I mean, sequential processing. Okay. These people are very like, eh, 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 eh. one plus one <laughs> equals two. <Yeah. laughs> right. Like it's just the hard facts. Yeah. That's the left hemisphere of your brain. Okay. And we also have a right hemisphere. Right. Um, whereas this part really focuses on the, um, the spatial awareness, mm -hmm. creativity, things like that. Artistic. Exactly. Yeah. Artistic abilities, you know, um, holistic thinking, recognizing faces, motor skills and things like that. Fine motor skills. Yeah. So it's like dealing with a lot of like the bigger picture, the aspects right. of it. You know, if you if we go way back in the day, right? As women, um, eons and eons ago, we were the natural um, gatherers mm -hmm. and the nurturers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and spiritual awareness and holistic thinking was very important because you had to look at the aspect of where you are versus where your child could be versus where the predator is, and the overall view of that, the big picture, so to speak. Exactly. And then trusting that intuition too. Mm -hmm. to lead you especially um i mean if we go back in the days at times where you know uh facts wasn't an easy thing to get to yeah like if you live i don't know in some sort of jungle there was nowhere to go look up okay where do we search for things in the jungle if we live on the right side people had to resort to their intuition yeah you know things like that and in that nature and that's where we can really see where the right hemisphere of the brain is beneficial i mean and of course in today's too even even though we have a lot of the facts available to us, you know, that allows us to exercise our left hemisphere, you know, of the brain, right. we still need our intuition. We still need, you know, exactly. these emotional um, intelligences yeah. that help us get by when there is no set answer for what we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. And listen, so cultivating that, because we're now we're like in the society, right, where you hear a lot of, uh, oh, she's a feminine woman or she's a masculine woman or, and it's kind of like, well, what is femininity? Mm -hmm. You're right. So it, it brought light to this topic today because a lot of us or even women, you know, may be struggling with that aspect or wanting to dive in deeper to that, but you're not understanding how yeah. to find that balance yeah. between the two and where to exercise, you know, more of your feminine energy versus your masculinity. Because I mean, I'm gonna say, we need a little bit of both in oh, yeah. different areas of our life. I'm not gonna say as women to just dismiss all of that. But exactly. you know, when it comes to specific, um, I guess, categories like relationships, you know, um, how do you balance that out between the two? If the man automatically wants to take the masculine role as women, you know, how do we, be, how do we maintain femininity and still express what we want? Right. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us feel like it's impossible to do that or we can't, but, um, it's really just a matter of skill and learning how to use the skill. Exactly. And like you said, with what women is, um, as our intuition, right? Like, of course the men, you, you play a very important role in the woman being feminine too. Right. This is not to say one or the other, both, like you said, are needed. Mm -hmm. So given that the man say create that safe space for a woman to be feminine and all their divinity right how does a woman then um express that or feel safe to be okay with that well expressing what they need without coming to masculine right without giving ultimatums there we go which is a masculine trait kind okay, of. Okay, it is. Because when you're given that ultimatum, right, it is a power struggle dynamic. Mm. And if when you're in a romantic relationship, there should not be a power struggle. Right. Okay, we already know you as a man do this, me as a woman, I do that. So what are we struggling over for? Right, right. And as women, sometimes we feel helpless when we feel like the man isn't listening. So we mm. result to things like ultimatums 
right? To okay. force the guy to make a decision. But let me tell you why it's not the best thing to do that. <laughs> no, it is not. I mean, it creates a very confrontational space, right? Yes. And men, it's in their nature to fight. A yes. Okay. Okay. Like they're gonna fight you, ladies. That's that's what's in their nature to do. They're just going to exhibit this characteristic, and this is not what we want. No. Um, if we, I mean, as women, there are better ways to communicate what we want without really being confrontational, so to speak. Right. Because then, if you're looking at it at that perspective, right? If he's, or if now the both of you guys are fighting or barking at each other, like that's not the power dynamic that you're wanting. Right. You're, you're not gonna resolve anything with that. At as a woman, your best power is like a silent power mm -hmm. where it comes to sitting back and, you know, being observant of that because we're not going to go head, head to head, toe to toe right, right. with a man who's screaming, telling exactly. you what he wants. Exactly. And to be clear, what she means by like the silent, you know, like it means that, um, you leave it so that your actions speak more because you know yeah. it's always gonna mean more than what somebody says okay so if this man is barking at you and he is just behaving in a way that doesn't allow you to express yourself or or express your needs um then show through your actions how you're not going to tolerate that not by giving ultimatums or creating confrontational spaces that limits his option because okay. not you, no one woman can control a man you no, know, and we're, really vice versa. I mean, yeah. women, some of us allow ourselves to be in these predicaments, but it's it's unrealistic to try to control each other in these sort of situations. So women, I mean, let's really exercise just saying what we mean by not saying it. Okay. I mean, we really don't have to say much. No. If anything, the men will watch you and pay attention to you more when you don't say much, okay? And you just say, all right, well, I'm, this won't work for me. So this is how I'm going to show that this doesn't work for me. I'm going to leave the situation. And it goes the same thing with like any confrontational mm -hmm. situation where there's a fight or argument. I mean, why go back and forth? Cause then that's what she's saying in, um, earlier. Now it becomes a battle of who's got the more power. Yeah. And it's not about power in this case. Cause you know, if we're in our feminine energy, it's more about cooperation, right? Okay. It's more about balancing, teamwork, exactly. and things like that. Being flexible. Yes. Now, the man and his masculine energy is that problem solving, decision making, being assertive. So we're gonna let him do that. Obviously, the problem is the problem. Him being in his masculine energy, he will want to be the problem solver and fix mm -hmm. it. And we're gonna let him be that problem solver and fix yes. it. Yes, and granted, he's not always gonna have the solutions. Let's be real, our okay. men don't always come up with the <laughs> best solutions to right. the problem but this is where you can be you know yeah of assistance so to speak you wait, let them wait. think that yeah. you solved the problem when it really was you who solved the problem yes. um and it comes with the delivery right yes so if he says that's the solution and then you'll say mm, hmm I can respect that or I can understand where you're coming from and right. why you think that would be the best solution. You know, I just have a concern with this portion. Yeah, exactly. You know? Express how you're feeling in the moment. Well, I feel this and that. Like, let him know because when we are in our feelings, right, because that's, that, that's the right side of the brain, our feelings, our intuition, our emotions, we can express that a lot clearer to women where they can understand that, right? right. So right. just like... We're not being, we're not coming here and being like, oh, this, this, and that. No, mm -hmm. we're going to express our feelings from our heart. Yes. And ladies, let me tell you another reason why you don't want an ultimatum. Okay. Cause what do men like to do? They like to give you short term solutions. Fine. I'll give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if they're not really giving you what you want or they're being sneaky about it. So that's what giving ultimatums does. It creates a short term compliance situation right. where they're going to do what you say, you yeah. know, to make you happy. Yeah. And then they go back to their natural ways because what you were asking for was probably unrealistic in the first place, or it didn't consider their side of the story or their needs and yeah. their wants and things like that. And it's going to keep you in the cycle again, mm -hmm. because then you guys are going to possibly get an argument again and then a short term solution comes up and then it's like that cycle when if listen if you're a woman right and you've given your men ultimatum you've got to be ready for one of the two options the fact that okay one the ultimatum he, he does take the ultimatum right and right. so he's like he is gone like all right, right you gave me the ultimatum well i'm out this or that or i'm gone and then you realize oh that's not what i wanted or i thought he'd love me enough to stay or do what i want 
but you see that you're you're trying to control a whole man, a whole yeah. grown ass man. Like you can't do that. You have to allow him to act in his will, you know. And if it doesn't work for you, kindly, respectfully, leave. Honestly, that's like the most thing you could do as when I'm at silent power as a woman, that's what you you always have that power to leave. So you gotta be prepared for that cause and effect, that mm -hmm. consequences. You give him that ultimatum, well then honey, he left. Now what? <laughs> don't don't let don't talk to me about how he this and that. You give him that ultimatum. So you right. should be okay with either or that he does. Right. Um, and if that's not what you really wanted, then that's not how you should have introduced the communication, okay, the conversation. Because um, there's always give and take in communication. You know, I I say something, I say how I feel, you say how you feel. And then we find a way to, you know, make it work. Meet yeah. somewhere in the middle. Exactly. Right? Because oftentimes what you do find yourself is in a situation where you have to compromise. And, you know, if the compromise is too great or it still feels like it's going against your morals and, you know, how you feel like you should be treated, mm -hmm. then the, it's, it's really clear what yeah. you need to do, ladies. No, honestly, that's just showing you because it's like when things are presented to you as well, you have to be able to take them at face value and, um, you know, dissect that. So it's like if this is not working, then like you said, you get up and you leave because that means you guys are incompatible. Right. Like you could love somebody, whatever the case is, but incompatibility is going to be incompatibility. Mm -hmm. And as, as you know, being in that relationship, you know, the most important thing to remember is that it's obviously you both against the problem. Right. It's not you against against each other, which is right. what that ultimatum ultimately is doing. Right. Like when both the man and the woman is exercising masculinity when it comes to arguments or, you know, disagreements, it becomes a battlefield. That's really all it is. No one is taking the higher road. <laughs> exactly. Or the low. Like everyone's just <laughs> eh, 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 head to head. Like yeah. there has to be a flow of balance, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And you'll find in many ways too, once you build that trust through arguments, a lot of men will start to be like, okay, what do you think we should do? Yeah, exactly. What do you think? You know, and they're just literally giving you the field to make the decision. This is a situation you where you want to be in, rather than trying to take the power and control over them when it's in a man's nature to be in control. <laughs> okay, they're gonna try it. Like, listen, <laughs> it just creates unnecessary strain in the relationship. You know, now it starts to, you know, go into your trust and things like that. Yeah. And, you know, when you start attacking at the trust, it's you, you know, it can be and, a downhill battle from there. Yes, because I think like one of the top two things men value is trust and respect above mm -hmm. all. And then when you're also giving ultimatums, you're coming at their respect. Yeah, because you're it's kind disrespecting of, their choices. Okay, and their free will and they don't they don't fare well with that as women you know we there's i think women i don't know how we're loved but it's like okay it's definitely i feel like we don't necessarily um deal with respect as much as they do okay yeah for us it's like a few other things but them it's heavy on the respect right so we definitely want to look at that dynamic because it's it's not gonna work with that two head strong coming at each other. Yes, um, and you know, um, oftentimes when men, they feel like they have the respect, they will take the more feminine trait, you know, unless you take the masculinity and letting you lead. But it, it, it's a, it, it has to do with trust and respect, like mm -hmm. she was saying before. So it's really all about finding the balance. Ladies, gentlemen, I mean, let's stop fighting each other. It's, we're not at war, okay? We're not, we're not, you know, each yeah. other's enemies. So let's find better ways to communicate. And I just thought it was important to mention that, you know, um, where these hemispheres, you know, control yeah. these characteristics within us and how it goes beyond gender, right? And exactly. really about just finding the balance between the two. Exactly. I mean, every relationship is going to be different, right? So definitely find that dynamic that works for you. It is, like you said, non-gender, right? And mm -hmm. ultimately, I think like the goal is to transcend and have both of our hemispheres work together. You yeah. have the right and the left, okay? Unison. And that's how you could, you know, show yourself out in this world and be in your divine either femininity or masculine or just your divine energy, period. Exactly that. Um, so, ladies, gentlemen, I mean, if we missed anything regarding um, describing the characteristics between the left hemisphere, right hemisphere, and how it yeah. correlates to our divine femininity and masculinity, okay. add it in the comments. Exactly. Well, if you have not already, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that bell because we do drop videos like these every single week okay so we'll see you guys next week
Bye. Bye.